Next, we are going to retrieve categories from core data and display them in the expense categories table. So let's navigate to the categories view controller and let's implement a new view controller lifecycle function, view will appear. In view will appear, here's our opportunity to actually fetch all of our current categories from the persistent store and display them to the user. So with our view will appear implemented, let it, let's get the UI app delegate and from there, the manage context and then fetch from there. So very first thing we need to do, guard let app delegate equals UI application dot shared dot delegate else return. Once we have the app delegate unwrapped, we now need to get the managed context from it. So let's managed context equals app delegate dot persistent container. Oh, and I'm not getting it. The reason why I'm not getting it is while I'm getting the UI application dot share dot delegate, I'm not actually casting this as our app delegate, which is necessary to be able to get the persistent container. So now with that, autocomplete should work. There we go, persistent container dot view context. And with the managed context, we now need to create a fetch request. The fetch request is the object that we use to fetch, re well, request a fetch from core data. So let's create a new constant, call it fetch request, and let's give it a type. The type that we're gonna give it is ns fetch. Except we haven't imported Core data yet, core have data we? Core yet, so auto completion isn't working for you until you do that. So below import UI kit, import core data. And now NS fetch request should exist. So NS fetch request exists, perfect. And let's give it a type of category. How would you explain this type, Dale? So Category is being specified here as generics on NS fetch request to tell it the type we want to work with. So when we do our NS fetch request with generic set of category, it will return category objects to us. So with this fetch request and its type, let's set this equal to category dot fetch request. And notice there's two different types for these fetch requests. One NS fetch request category another NS fetch request, NS fetch request result. The reason why we specified the type on this fetch request is because if we didn't, it would be confused of which function it should be calling and we would get an error from that. So now that we have category fetch request, let's actually perform this fetch request by accessing our managed context and fetching with that fetch request. We have to do this in a do block because fetching from core data could throw an exception. So let's mark this line of code with a try. Let's access our managed context dot fetch and notice these take in a NS fetch request. Let's pass it our fetch request. This function also returns an array of T, T being the type here that we specify as category, but we're not actually assigning this array to anything. We need to actually create a view controller array in our, well, an array inside our view controller to hold our categories. So below our table view, near the top of the class, let's create a new constant or variable actually, var categories, which is an array of categories and let's set that equal to an empty array. Now that we've done that, we can now assign our results from this fetch request to that array of categories, and it should be happy. Well, we're still gonna get an error that errors have not actually been handled. To do that, we need to do a do in a catch block. 
So catch, and let's handle the error. Maybe you want a UI alert view to pop up, or maybe you just want to print off for the developer to know what is actually occurring. And let's say could not fetch. With this, we've actually performed our fetches and we have retrieved all categories stored within core data. But we're not actually displaying it to the user yet because we've not actually finalized our table view functions. Number of rows and section, what should this return, Dale? That would be the number of categories, which would be categories.count. Dot count. And now we need to implement our self row and index path. Let's get our category that this cell is supposed to show. So category equals categories at our index path dot row. With that, let's assign ourselves text labels text to our categories title. And now when I build and run this. Before you build and run it. Ooh. Okay. And I one more thing. So let, let's go to the top to the, the view. Oh, view will appear. I see what you're saying. So you're retrieving the categories, but not telling the table view that it needs to do something about that. So we're going to have to reload the data on the table view. And what function do I call that? Table, what's the, do you have an IV outlet to your table view? I do, categories, categories table. table view. So categories table view dot reload data. Building and running this application now. We'll now show all of our categories fetched from core data. And let's add a new category and make sure it gets added to the list when we return. And there it is.